The ICT concept turtle soup is one of the best ICT concepts to catch reversal with. Now, basically, a turtle soup is selling above an old high and buying beneath an old low. But there is a bit more to it. So let's get into the video. Just before we talk about this example, I just want to say that I personally don't really trade the ICT turtle soups. I'm more likely just use it as confirmation. Now here we can see that price ran buy side liquidity. This high right here. Or more specific, external range liquidity. Now, this external range liquidity, we could be anticipating price to make a reaction from and then reach internal range liquidity, right? Which is down here. Now, essentially, the turtle soup happens when price reaches that buy side liquidity as smart money is going to short above that high. So we could be anticipating a reversal to happen from price sweeping external range liquidity and then reaching a draw on liquidity, which is internal range liquidity. As we know, price moves from external to internal and then from internal to external range liquidity. Now, the first version of a turtle soup we're going to talk about is the one where price sweeps external range liquidity. Here we can see that price swept this high up here, which we could consider external range liquidity, right? So smart money are going to sell above this high as we just talked about before and then which is very important we have to have a draw on liquidity and down here we have relative equal lows so basically smart money are going to sell above this high so then send price lower reaching an important level or just a draw on liquidity you could also see that we have some LR LR down here. So that's basically the first version of a turtle soup. Now, another way of a turtle soup is when price sweeps internal range liquidity. So here we can see we have external range liquidity on both sides of the range. Then price comes down here, sweeps internal range liquidity, also sweeps these relative equal lows. So now, this is our turtle soup. Smart money is going to buy beneath this low. And that means we could find a trend sheet within this leg up here as we're going to target internal or sorry external range liquidity as we could be anticipating price to move from internal to external. So a trend tree could be found within here. Now a way you can trade this turtle soup is when price is accumulating then price takes out one of the sides and here for this example price reached the high of this accumulation where there's going to be sell stops and breakout traders are going to long here right then price reaches up into this level reaches the consequent encouragement so the smart money are going to short up here and then target a draw on liquidity, which could be the other range of the accumulation where we have relative equal lows, and we also have sell side liquidity. Now, where could a trade entry be found within here? Well, we could go into the lower time frame and see what happened within here, or we could see on the chart when price returned into the accumulation, we created this IFVG, which price made a return into. Then we also have this FVG. And then after that, price reached lower. But let's just go down into a little time frame and see what happened within this manipulation. Down here on the five minute time frame, we can see that price ran that accumulation high and also made a retracement into the 15 minute Farrell Valley Gap consequent encouragement. So now this leg up here reaching that ce of the consequent encouragement or the, of the valley gap on the 15 minute time frame this leg we could consider manipulation and the way up here we could also be considering smart money shorting the market right or filling their orders now a way we can get a confirmation that price is now starting to reverse from this area is that bullish pd rates are getting disrespected and are used as resistance. As we see this IFG, the price made a return up to the CE, start moving lower, creating a breakaway gap. Then at this candle close, it returned into the accumulation again. 
Now, when this candle close, returning to the accumulation, that's where we can now anticipate price starting to distribute lower, right? Then this could be your trade entry. Price again, expanded lower. Then reach down to the drawn liquidity, which was these relative equal lows or the other side of that accumulation. So that's how we could be anticipating a turtle soup of this AMD model or price reversing from this area. Now, another example of a turtle soup, we can see right here that price swept by side liquidity and that price is also currently trading within ASMT, meaning that ES has not taken out this high and we see that NQ has indeed taken out this high. So price have both swept buy side liquidity and is currently trading within a s &T. So that is where we are going to find those turtle soup trade entries. Now let's move down into the lower time frame and see what's going on there. Down here on the one minute time frame, we can see that price ran the buy side liquidity slash created the SMT. So now up here we could be anticipating a trade entry, right? Put our stop loss above the high and then target sell side liquidity. But the problem is price created a short-term high, sweeping that buy side liquidity, then moved lower into this FVG, we see right here. And then after that, swept that high. So now we could be anticipating a short-term high. And let's see what happens. And here we do see price create that short-term high. And the reason for that is we all remember the classic formation where price creates intermediate term high, right? So that is where we could be anticipating price reaching lower, as this should now be a intermediate term high, we should see price not reaching for that high. So let's see what happens. And here we do indeed see that price reach lower. Now, personally, I don't really want to take a trade entry up here because sometimes a wide stop loss is necessary when taking these turtle soup trade entries as if you just were to enter right here and put your stop loss above the high when your stop price started to move lower, then you would have got stopped out. So then you sometimes have to got a very wide stop loss placement. Now, then you could just wait for another setup, maybe IFG, a change in state of delivery, or something like that, or just put your own model into this and use the turtle soup as a confirmation tool, as I do.